Professor Michael Braungart, wonderful to be here with you in Brussels, just in front of the European Parliament. You are one of the most well-known and most renowned environmental analyzers, thinkers and idea producers in Germany and possibly even in Europe. As a university professor in chemistry, you are possibly the most provocative, provocative, challenging and innovative voice concerning products and processes and philosophy fighting for circularity, for a life-based chemistry. You are speaking out against efficiency, making products and processes less bad. Instead of this, you are speaking out to reinvent in order to leave a wrong path. And you therefore are the inventor of the new worldwide known concept of cradle to cradle. Today you were here one of the key speakers on a conference on beyond growth with more than thousand participants. But now my question, the first one. You are just back from China as a scientific head of a delegation of UNIDO, the UN Agency on Industrial Development, to especially Donqing, the Yellow River, at the delta of the Yellow River. What was the background of your mission? Well, the idea is that the people in China have been thinking about circularity far better and more profound than we ever oh. did in Europe. And uh, the Yellow River is basically the cradle of the Chinese civilization. And they really were able to do circular systems because they understood that humans are a part of the whole thing. And that means that they are able to process nat natural material flows back into cycles. So when now uh, the Donjing becomes a cradle-to-cradle -cradle city, which they plan to do so, uh, then uh, yeah, we definitely come from cradle to cradle to cradle to cradle. And this is key because, look, what we do in Europe is important, but if we can inspire people in China to think differently and to use circularity as a business model, then we really can make a difference. Thank you. You came with your needle to China, that UN agency which organized your mission. Why not one of the other more than a dozen UN agencies like UN Environment, UN Development? Oh, it is not first about environment, it's about business. It's about how we can do business that it works to support the other species as well. United Nations Industrial Development Organization is quite interesting because the United States is not on board, France is not there, uh, it, uh, United Kingdom is not there. Oh. It's Germany, Japan and China mostly financing and it, it's basically the opportunity because United Nations Industrial Development Organization adopted Cradle to Cradle as one of the key principles oh, for the future. And now the new director of uh, of uh, UNIDO in Vienna is now uh, a German former minister, yeah, Gerd Müller, and this brings together China and Germany in a, in a very special way. And I see there's a huge opportunity for both places, for Europe and for China as well. But now let's go to universities. I heard that you were in intensive contact with universities in China, Renmin, Hanshan, concerning circularity. What came out of these contacts and are there any plans for cooperation with German or European universities? So after having a chair for Cradle to Cradle Management at the most respected public business school, the Erasmus School of Management in Rotterdam, my university in Lüneburg called me back and said, now you're famous and we want to see you back. And Leuphana University is quite provincial. Le next Leuphana to Hamburg. is in Lüneburg. Yeah, Lüneburg yeah. is next to Hamburg. But look, real innovation always comes from the province. Yeah. In Europe, the Bauhaus didn't uh, exist in Berlin. It was in Weimar, in Dessau, in Ulm, yeah, in the province, because there people think differently. And this is why it's interesting as well. The Donjing is a small city compared to others in 
only two and a half million people. Uh, uh, only. Yes. Yeah, and, and at the Yellow River, but because this is the cradle of the Chinese civilization, it's unique and people are very uh, dedicated to do cradle to cradle and what we do with the universities like Ramin University, but as well with bigger universities in Hanshan, for example, uh, we will generate a joint partnership to do a master degree where people can learn from Europe and can learn from China because as Albert Einstein said, no problem can be solved by the same type of thinking which caused the problem. So we need to learn from each other and we need specifically the Chinese expertise for a circular economy. And Renmin, they have in the last years, they taught circularity as well? Yeah, Ramin University is interesting because they are a small university but very influential in Beijing because it really allows it to think freely in a way and uh, that people really can make a difference and they learn, learn sociology, they learn uh, social science, they learn philosophy and sure it's a philosophy cradle to cradle. The question is what is our role on our planet? For being less bad we are too many people. We need to learn to be good for this planet. We need to learn that we are the native people of this planet. We cannot delegate it to some Aborigines in Australia. We are the na native people and sure, it matters what China is doing. And Ramin University basically is the, the mastermind behind a lot of decisions in China. Okay, then I see you at the right place. Now let's come back to Cradle to Cradle. As already mentioned, you have been invented together with William MacDonald. This key expression of circularity, cradle to cradle. How does this concept of cradle to cradle fit with China, with Chinese culture, Chinese philosophy and Chinese business? So the basis of cradle to cradle is that we can be good for this planet, not less bad. We are not protecting when we destroy a little less. Yeah, we only, yeah, so we need to learn to support the other species. And in Europe, and it's mostly based on our religion, whether it's Christian or Islamic, it says you're evil and for you it might be true and only God can redeem you. So we only can be less bad, we cannot be ah. good. This has dramatic uh, consequences. There is not one organic label in the whole world here, yeah, of Europe and United States and wherever, which allows that my own nutrients can go back, my own feces. It's only organic with, without us, can you imagine that? Ah. We'd have to pick up every day two grams of phosphate and phosphate is far more rare than oil. Uh, otherwise we cannot have bones, we cannot have teeth. Uh, we, so, we need to, and, and so we need to get phosphate back, but there's not one organic label uh, uh, which allows that my own nutrients can go back. Uh, oh. I learned it when I was working in China for several time. Uh, when you are invited for dinner, uh, still today in the countryside, people expect you to stay after dinner to, till you use the toilet, because it's unfriendly to, to uh, leave with, and taking nutrients with you because you're invited for dinner, not for stealing nutrients. The Chinese civilization over 7,000 years yeah. is so stable because they were always able to process nutrients back. Wherever we took things from the farmers and we never gave them anything back. Yeah? And this is where farmers went poorer uh, and they had to emigrate or they starved to death or they had to go into the city and the city, city has to steal uh, nutrients from, from somewhere else because they never gave anything back to the farmers. Thank you, thank you very much. Now let's go to a human attitude. We are all tempted to be too much self-centered. You know, me as a German, a European environmentalist, I think that the champions in circularity in companies are Umiko, Shuko, Solvay, Wirt or others. Through your contacts in China, do you see a company who has a lot of chances to be a champion, to be called a champion in circularity? Yeah, the first uh, company which adopted Cradle to Cradle was already in 2010. Uh, after in China? The, yeah, the World oh. Expo uh, in Shanghai. Yeah, and the founder of Good Baby came to me and said, hey, I want to adopt Cradle to Cradle for my company. Good Baby. Good, good Baby. Yeah, Good yeah. Baby, uh, based in Kunshan, next to Shanghai, uh, is making more baby products than there are babies on this planet. Oh. Every third stroller on this planet is from Good Baby, every second car seat, etc. And because of the daughter of Mr. Song, he, I had her as a student in, at MIT in Boston, yeah, she came to her father and said, Daddy, we want to adopt Cradle to Cradle. And now this is a perfect company. After 12 years, 
they change the whole company into cradle to cradle. There is a lot of hope when we care for babies yeah, to be healthy because they are the most vulnerable uh, species of us as, as humans. Yeah, then we really think about human dignity in a different way. Yeah. Thank you, thank you very much. I learned a lot, but at the end another question, the last one. What concrete plans do you have as you will return with UNIDO to China? What plans do you have for the next future for the Yellow River as a model possibly for other parts, other regions, other provinces in so, China? So because uh, the Yellow River is basically the cradle of the Chinese civilization, I'm sure that if this region is adopting, and it first starts with the Estuar River, yeah, in that uh, Estuar is? Yeah, where the river ends and oh, it yes, goes yeah. into the oceans actually. Yeah, at this point, uh, when we are successful there, we can inspire people. But what do you want China. to do there? Oh, I just want to see China transformed into a cradle to cradle country. Because look, what we do is nice, but if we can inspire people in China to think differently, <laughs> then we will really make a difference. Yeah. Because look, the, take Germany's emissions of carbon dioxide. This is less than the emissions of carbon dioxide of the Chinese cement industry. So we really oh. need to do something, not just to be focused on Europe. We need to learn from each other and we need to partner with each other and we need to become friends here. Yeah, because you only can change things if you trust each other. Yeah, existing stuff you can optimize even with criminals at 10% cheaper, 10% lighter. But for innovation you need trust and respect for each other. Thank you very much for this fight to work together for trust. Yeah. Thanks for giving me the chance to thank talk you. to you. Thank you Pleasure very much. Talking to thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.